Hey, what's up everybody? AWOL here. Welcome to my studio. I'm going to let you in on a little secret that I use for my corporate clients, my media clients, my multi-million subscriber creator clients, and that's how to get new viewers to come to your channel. I'm talking about people that are not already subscribed to your YouTube channel. I'm actually implementing that strategy to a small effect here on my personal channel where I upload a few videos per week just to help you guys out. And this strategy is all about picking out amazing topics on YouTube that people are searching for. I'll show you a tool that you can use and the method you can use to go find those topics and capitalize on them. Create resource videos, educational videos, how-to videos on topics that people will be searching for for years to come. This is called evergreen content. And basically it means that this content's gonna be green all year long. People are gonna be searching for it all year, hopefully next year and the following year. So that if you take a break on your YouTube channel for six to nine months, like I have on this channel before, this channel will continue to rack up views and continue to rack up new eyeballs coming in through the door because these are more or less kind of evergreen topics, right? That will last a while. When you can create an entire library of content that is searchable, that is evergreen, and that is highly curated topics that you know people will be actually looking for on YouTube, your channel can start to do really well and you can create a baseline of traction and views and subscribers that you can then ride off of to take your channel to the next level. Make sense? Let me show you exactly what I'm doing on my channel as an example. So right now my channel is only getting about 197,000 views per month, but I'm getting 1.5K subscribers with that many views. So that what that means is almost one in every 100 viewers that watches my content subscribes. That is an insanely good view to subscriber ratio. So if we were to extrapolate this, if I got 1 million views per month, I would get 10,000 subscribers every single month. If I got 10 million views per month, I would get 100,000 subscribers each month. So is this a brag? No. The point of this is to tell you that if you create t content that is relevant, that people are searching for, and that actually helps people solve a problem, then they'll subscribe to your channel and they'll start following you. But the important thing to keep note of as I explain the strategy is that I have 97% of my watch time from people that are not subscribed to my channel. Only 3% of the watch time on my channel actually comes from people that are subscribed. So this is 97% essentially new eyeballs coming into my channel each and every day. So how am I doing it? How am I pulling this off? And how am I doing it with an infrequent upload strategy? Aren't you supposed to upload every single day? And don't channels die if they don't upload every single day? Well, as you can see, everything I'm doing is on an upward trend right now revenue, subscribers, everything else. So here's the strategy. I upload a large quantity of content across a range of subjects that I'm an expert on. And those all fall within a certain range of content, work from home, social media strategy, gear guides, tutorials, software, hardware, but it's kind of all over the place. And traditional YouTube gurus would tell you that doing a content strategy like I'm doing is a bad idea when it comes to growing a channel. It's just not going to work, they say. Well, as you can see, my channel is growing and I have an unlimited supply of new clients that are coming in to book me because all of the views I'm getting on my channel are new viewers. Here's how you do it. You end up uploading a ton of different content across a ton of different subject areas. Let me show you what this looks like in the starting phase. My new channel, Digital Drop Podcast, one I just started about a month ago, I'm uploading videos across a number of subjects from, as you can see, working from home and video ideas and YouTube career and Twitter growth and salary negotiation, you name it, I'm uploading videos across a bunch of different topics. The reason why I'm doing this is I'm testing the market and I'm assessing where viewership is from me and the people I'm doing this podcast with and where the open spots are and what the sort of subtopics and sub niches are that I can dive into to kind of narrow my content focus down from being so wide. Once you can determine that, you'll want to have about three or four sub niches that you'll want to dive into. And that's basically what has happened here on my main AWOL channel. The sub niches of content that I dive into on my channel 
are things like, uh, you know, gear guides, as you can see from this road, platform guides and software guides. And then I've got kind of SEO strategy and social media strategy. So basically three categories, strategy videos, hardware videos, and software videos. But it took me running a strategy like this, like I'm doing on the Digital Drop podcast, where I did 16, 20, 30, 50 different subjects to understand what those buckets of content are that are going to work on that particular channel. This channel, the Digital Drop podcast, only has 100 subscribers, but soon it'll be getting thousands per month, and soon it'll have tens of thousands of subscribers because I'm running the exact same strategy all over again, and I'm going to show you guys how this works in real time. So the question is, how do you find the topics that you need to find in order to figure out all these different keywords and what people are actually searching for? So the best solution is TubeBuddy. It is my favorite tool. And I put a link in the description below to my affiliate link for TubeBuddy. If you end up downloading it, I get credit for you downloading it. If you use my affiliate link, I would appreciate it. Let me show you the basic gist of what I do with TubeBuddy to find topics that are really juicy and really work. You click up here in the top right hand corner and you use this amazing tool called the Keyword Explorer. Now let's say you're looking to make a video on a topic such as fishing videos. What you would do is start off with the high level topic fishing. Now, obviously, fishing is going to be highly competitive, as you can see here. If you look at the unweighted score that TubeBuddy gives fishing, as you can see, it's poor. Sure, there's a great search volume for that topic, but the competition is insanely high for something like fishing, right? But as you can see, the market for this topic, 29 million searches per month, is really, really juicy, is really good. So what you'd want to do, and this is just a random example of fishing, insert your niche here, follow me on the logic, is you'll want to dive in maybe a couple layers deeper than just fishing into a niche within fishing and see if there's a, an opportunity to break through. So I'm just going to randomly select uh, deep sea fishing. Okay. And then within deep sea fishing, we're going to look at deep sea fishing boats. I'm just randomly diving into a deeper topic here. As you can see, the score is now better as in the chances of us breaking through on this topic is now higher because sure, the search volume is still excellent, but as you can see, the competition got a little bit better. There are less competitors out there going after the keyword deep sea fishing boats than the main keyword fishing. So I may want to consider looking deeper into deep sea fishing boat videos and maybe doing a handful of those and experimenting. What you want to do is you want to go after low competition, high search volume topics, low competition, high search volume. And by using a keyword tool such as TubeBuddy, you can literally see how competitive the topics are and how many searches are happening. Now, the key I have to emphasize here, and for those of you that stuck around to the end of the video, thank you for sticking around because this is the power tip. It's quantity over quality when you're starting with this strategy, okay? So don't think I'm going to make a few highly produced videos that are really well edited and took me, you know, 10, 20, 30 hours to make each. And then I'll break through on big topics because my production quality is higher. Guess what? Production quality doesn't matter that much. And so what you need to do instead of spending 30 hours to make one video, you should spend one hour to make 30 videos with that total amount of time of 30 hours total. Okay, it's about throwing as much content out there as possible, seeing what sticks, and about one in 20 to 50 videos will be a big hit for you, I promise, uh, as long as you are actually doing the research that goes behind it. Uh, so let me just show you one example of a hit video for me so you know uh, kind of what I'm referring to. So a few hit videos that kind of help me determine what my niches are is this best mics ever video, for example. Now you might be saying, 89,000 views isn't that many views. Well, this video actually made me $5,000 in Amazon affiliate revenue. So this was a huge hit for me on my channel because I was trying to run an affiliate marketing model with that. But I made a handful of gear guide videos. Some of them only have hundreds of views right now. They'll have tens of thousands in the future. But you have to make a bunch of gear guide videos in order to break through on one. You have to make a bunch of videos on your niche in order to break through on one to really test it. Another niche for me too was Facebook gaming, just as an example. This one right here got 400,000 views. 
but you know, the lowest one here only got 13,000. Guess what? These videos only got a couple hundred views when I released them on my channel because that's not the point. The point isn't to get lots of views out the gate from your subscribers. The key here is to get lots of views from people that have never seen you before and the YouTube algorithm is serving you free impressions for new eyeballs. That's how you build that baseline of views, that baseline of subscribers, and basically the foundation for your YouTube channel. And then you can double down in one of those specific niches when you have a big breakout. And then you can think about how do I appeal to my subscribers once you have a big pool of subscribers to work with. I hope that makes sense. And let me know what you think of this strategy in the comments below. I use it for Mega Media Corps all the time. I won't say the names of the companies uh, because I have to keep that confidential in some cases, but you know what? It works for them and I hope that it works for you. Adios amigos, make lots of videos and let me know if you have a success or if you have any challenges with the strategy and I'm happy to help in the comments below.